in this session we will learn editor in linux that is a vi editor now it's a modern editor which is modified with the vim vi modifier that is a vim editor nowadays it's a coming by defaultly with the linux operating linux like distributions and flavors on all the operating systems many of the linux developers administrators who are using the uh, uh, linux machines they are most familiar and they will love it this vm editor we will see one by one how the people are uh, using and accessing with the affection of the love of the more facilities are available using the shortcut of the keyboards a few we will see now let's start the session see now i will history the history.txt is the text file is here i would like to use to vi editor to open and uh, add some append text and uh, close and reopen and verifying whether the text file is there or not and appending text or not these are the activities real time activities we will do by using the terminal simply type vi space history and the file name name of the file name any file you may you may have the configuration file it may be or a text file anything you can open by using the by using the vi editor vi space history.txt hit enter now we are in vi editor see clearly i would like to tell you about the vi editor now before going to initiating here it's displaying the text file what is the text is available on text file and uh, here you will observe that the lines with the tilde in the sense these are the unused lines it indicates in the vi editor these are the unused lines strongly remember and uh, if you if we want to add some line after the sixth history is there of the sixth line if we want to add some text like in this this uh, vi editor mode we need to press either the i key in the from the keyboard insert key in the i key the key is the alphabet i we need to press or else there is an option of the keyboard insert key either keys we need to press to change the mode of the behavior of the editor now see here it's on bottom is showing history that uh, txt six lines and atc 84c when i press i it's moving into the insert mode have you observed that the terminal see here now we can able to add line number 6 after history i hit and enter and uh, taken the cursor to here and 7 new line added for demo right this is the new line added for a demo i have uh, entered the line now i want to save this document for that we need to change the mode of the document behavior here we need to for the changing from insert to press escape press escape to it's a normal mode it's came back now we need to write the lines like a saving the document shift plus colon shift plus colon on left top left bottom corner you will identify the colon where the cursor is blinking hit w and enter this is the command for saving the document only save the document and remain it's open it's not save and exit all right and now i will i, will, I would like to tell you the one more command is yeah there is an a continuation of a save and exit also i will show you see if you want to save and exit you have done everything is done you, as you know that for that you need to uh, save and exit w and q enter okay save and exit and it's uh, as usually came here now we will see added files are there uh, line is there or not by using the cat the line is available here 71 new line added for demo all right if there is an advanced feature here the cursor right now it's in a fourth position the line of the fourth and indicating you may observe here the fourth position by using the keyboard keys you will move the cursor from left right top bottom how 
by pressing the K alphabet K from the keyboard by pressing the K one line move to the up level upwards okay by pressing the K you will move the cursor in the upwards and by pressing the J towards the downwards see the line is available it will move these are the online used online uh, unused lines only okay and uh, now see if I pressed K it's moved to the towards up likewise if I press H it cursor moves towards left if I press key L cursor moves towards right all right and uh, I, I these are the wonderful facilities why the users and uh, when you are uh, writing any modifications and writing of the new shell script or uh, scripting of uh, editing of the configuration files these are much required while using terminal logins okay you practice with your own terminal then you will be able to get base good idea about it and uh, many of the options are available these are the basic requirements i am explaining here and i want to delete a line number of five completely there is a, i don't know that line is having many words and it's a big statement and simply i'm placing the line at the cursor position and uh, simply click double d d d of uh, from the keyboard d d and uh, the particular continuation of the same particular line will be eliminated completely and if you want to from the cursor three lines if you want to delete hit three plus dd continuously three dd and three lines will be deleted if two lines two dd it will be delete two lines likewise wonderful op options are available in this uh, editor and uh, many of the options and for insert you as we have uh, discussed uh, by pressing the i you can it move to the insert mode and then you will be able to type the text and uh, do the changes for saving if you, you have done something the change that you don't know and you forgotten about it and you remain same of existing what you have uh, when you open the document such a situation without saving also you can quit the document like uh, we have uh, deleted the line now i don't want to uh, delete that particular line i want to remain back and see now i don't want to save the document my current earlier position of the document without saving i want to exit from here shift colon and uh, save q and uh, not shift one numeric one if we pressed we will get an exclamatory mark over there colon q not and here press hit the enter and uh, check the vi cat command to you will have a line up for what we have eliminated over there we have not saved any document of a history.txt by using uh, by using the colon of w command all right likewise you practice these are the very much basic and more options are available you can elaborate what is the vi and what is the purpose of vi editor and most of the people they will love to using vi editor to easily handling uh, with the hands itself by editing and uh, modification and uh, doing the appropriate configurations of the Linux machine configuration files and automation files and all. Hope you better understand about uh, this VI editor. Thank you for watching this session. Thank you.